All right, do you have someone on your gift list that has a green thumb? Well, we are going to the master to get some unusual holiday gift ideas for the gardener. Joyce Nill has them for us. And Joyce, I have to tell you, this is a gorgeous spread of lovely yes. gifts that anybody would love. And these can all actually be found right here in Tucson? They can, I found them all at nursery centers and in big box stores in their um, nursery department. I didn't have to wait in any lines. And all the tax dollars stay right here in, in the city. So. Several reasons why these are great gifts. There you go. Shop local. Shop local, <laughs> local, local. Now, let's start out with um, these gloves that I see over here because I'm sure they're very useful and they're very fashionable. They are very fashionable. <laughs> these are very inexpensive gloves. You spend about a dollar to two dollars a pair, but this is what you would use for deadheading or to pull real small weeds. This is a pair of leather gloves that you would use if you were shoveling rock or hoeing or anything like that. But the fun pair of gloves is this pair. And this is for anybody who raises roses because they're a little bit um, heavier, but they come up to your elbows so that the thorns are not sticking you and scratching you. And do you remember what these are from a previous show? You know, I have one pair of gloves, Joyce. <laughs> for everything, so I think they're the cactus ones. You got yeah. it. Very Ooh, good. Job. These are welding gloves that you use if you're, if you're um, trimming cactus or if you're moving cactus or if you have a cactus bed. Heaviest duty that you can possibly find. That's what you would wow, use. Oh, gold star for Heather. Hey, thank you. There you go. I, know. I learned the hard way. <laughs> my little gardening gloves did not cut it the last no, time I tried to help my cactus. But tell us what we have right next to it there. Okay, and then over here we have the Pima County Master Gardener calendar. Mm -hmm. And that's really nice if somebody wanted to send a gift like up to Phoenix, but you can just wrap it, slip it in an envelope, and off it goes. And even though it's from Pima County, it applies to everywhere from Phoenix all the way down to Nogales. Um, great information, information about insects each month. It's a great calendar for that. Awesome. And what are some of the other ones? Well, then we have the electronic tools. I'm ah! so excited because I have one in my hand right she here. Does. What is this? So yeah, tell us what this is, Joyce. This is an infrared thermometer, and it comes in handy if you want to find out where the cold spots are in your property so you know where to cover when there's a frost oh. event. So Heather. I'm going to test it out. Yes. Oh. So I'm going to test Tina's <laughs> temperature here. Test out Tina here. and squeeze the green. Oh, we're going to find out if I'm hot or not? <laughs> I'm squeezing it. The green button. All right. And it should come up with a temp. What does it say? 75? 76. You're like getting hotter as we go. Oh, I, oh. I, I, I was like, let me help it. it was, okay. Oh, that is really 82 neat. degrees of hot. It is. If you are. And then <laughs> if you wanted to use it in the summertime when you have plants that need partial sun, you can shoot the leaves and decide, oh, it's time to move it or not. And this is my favorite tool. We've had this on the program before. This is the moisture meter that you use indoors or out. Determines if you've been overwatering or underwatering. So this is a great little tool. And this is a soil thermometer. And this you plunge into the soil. And this is for people who are planting seeds out in their flower beds or their vegetable garden or whatever. Seeds need a certain temp to germinate, and this is what you use for that. And I don't want to miss all of this other stuff, Trace, before we run out of time. Mm -hmm. What else do we have? We have a heat mat, and this is really important for people who are starting seeds in their house. You plug it in, it's waterproof, and you would use a little mini greenhouse like this to set on it, and the seeds germinate very quickly. Very cool. This is also a fun a gift. No one would ever guess that under a tree. But that one is for people who um, want a self-contained garden on their patio. It doesn't leak water or anything because it has a water reservoir. And it also is available with legs. So if you have somebody on your list who can't bend over, okay. it comes up to about your waist. But it's great for herbs and small vegetables or flowers. I think this is great, and I'm sure a lot of people have somebody either that wants to have a green thumb or already has one, so these are great gift ideas. Joyce, thank you so much for coming and telling us all about this. You may be getting those gloves. Uh, for I mean, any of these will work for me. That, there we go. I'm done. I'm done shopping for her. Thank you so much, Joyce. Thanks thank for you. inviting me. And for more information about Master Gardener events, call 626-5161, or you can also log on to extension.arizona.edu.